press any button to... You can't tell me what to do. I mean, I'm going to push a button, but not because you said so. The following is a work in progress. Just like my stupid penis. My life is a work in progress. Thiago Klafke uh, is, of course, one of the alien bounty hunters from Star Wars. Whoa! What is this? A city for ants? You know what it reminds me of is those play mats they had when I was a kid. They had roads drawn on them that you could play with your, like, Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars on. Everybody had one of those, right? Because you were deprived if you didn't. Anyway, this is another one of the early demos, like um, the H.R. Giger Virtual Museum. This one's from back in the DK2 days, which is why it only supports gamepad and not motion controllers, and also why that's an Xbox 360 pad in the picture. I'm also 11 feet tall, so just want you to know that, ladies. Ladies. Whoa. This is basically a digital artist's playable portfolio. I would hire this guy. Everything you see is made out of Thiago Klafke's assets. This whole thing is basically just a look how amazing I am, hire me right away demo. Man, whoever did that graffiti was really thorough and insistent that we know whatever's written there. Where are we? Ah. Anyway, he went above and beyond, I think, because it's really atmospheric. It's not just a showcase of the assets. There's also atmospheric ambient sound and stuff. It's not quite interactive, but watch this. Listen to that. He actually pissed on a burlap sack in order to get that audio clip. That's dedication. That's what it actually sounds like to be pissed on. I mean, uh, I, I assume. This is so cool. This is all we had back in the day. I feel like an old man. Like, back in my day. But we had demos, and we really felt like cyberpunk pioneers exploring these virtual environments, finally. And it's fun just to hang out and poke around and look at all the details that somebody's hard work went into making. This is the future, obviously. What is this? I like these cars. I think these are charging stations. It says... A, 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 a penis? Where? A penis compacto electrico. A compact electric penis. It is the future. Everybody has compact electric penises. The prophecies were true. So, oh, oh, there's still public transit in the future? I guess it's like a hover train or something. This is like the tracks from F-Zero. Uh, N, N, Hangabao. Lin, Hover. Where are we? Is this like Malaysia? Oh, I saw some cute kit. That's in English, so I don't know anymore. Some of this is like in Spanish, though, or Portuguese or something. So, some kind of, his, some kind of a South American dialect. I want to say either Venezuela or Brazil. It's it's got enough garbage that it's Venezuela. What is this say? Communidade, communidade, communism. This is the bad future. Communism. Every gets everybody gets the same amount of free garbage. I'm gonna go through this wall now. Ah! Uh, I can't tell what that guy's saying anyway. That's a cool touch, though. Just the, the everything is so immersive. Environmental design is like half of what makes a game immersive. A head-mounted display doesn't just magically make everything that way. This is so cool. And we knew stuff like this was like a taste of what was to come. I don't think every I don't think the people who first bought a television were conscious of how big it was going to get. But I, we could definitely definitely tell playing stuff like this that VR was going to be big. 
They've got bumblebee force field technology in the future. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, can't even touch it. That's how advanced it is. I'm going to say this is Brazil. Then again, if it was Brazil, everything would be made out of huge piles of leftover butt implants. Like the silicone sacks. And there would be national holidays where the children jump into and frolic in the butt implant piles like you would a, a pile of leaves that you raked together. And they would throw them at each other like water balloons. Hee hee hee! I don't see any butt implants. This can't be Brazil either. I don't know, guy. I don't know. This is. It's also unfamiliar. Oh, how two pigeon. Two identical ads on the same building. That's that's a bold marketing strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Oh, cool cars. Look look at how they're just textures. There's not even 3D models. Even Air Car had like four polygon flying cars. Is this the, is this just what the world of fl the flying car, the Air Car demo looks like on ground level? I want to say it is. Entry n n entry now. Whoa, there's something in there. I want to go in there. I can't though. That's that's gonna tantalize me. Something fierce. This is so cozy. I used to play this, not even just to do anything, just to uh, listen to podcasts or eat and drink and just hang out someplace else. Look at how the wind affects the trees. That is so cool. Even even some real games don't do that. The tree people are trying to communicate their lust. Not today your branches off me you damn dirty tree when you live in a tiny box you definitely want to be somewhere else and VR gave me a way to escape which makes me think in the future apartments are going to be subdivided into tiny little micro apartments like in China and they're going to they're going to charge less rent but as much as they can get away with and People will put up with it because VR will be so good that you, when you get home, you only need enough room for your body and you just put the headset on and you don't care where you actually are. Your daily dose of depression, that's what you come here for. Anyway, that's everything there is to see. This is Trump's America. Are you happy? I'm going to... I'm going to grab my compact electric penis, steal one of these cars, and try to make it to a first world country.